Okay. I don't even know. I'm so tired. It's been Ramadan season, so I'm like gassed and super exhausted all the time. Today was like day 18, so um, what's it? Like 12 more days to go. So. Later that night. <laughs> Regardless, I'm still coming out here with this fire content just for you. Just for you. Alright. You know that monkey from Family Guy? Which like, you. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Especially since I look like a potato monkey. Alright, regardless. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this episode of Buster Buster Nah. Today we're gonna be doing our very first first impressions. <laughs> first first impressions. Get it? Duh, right here, boom. Um, it's like a gimbal and a camera all in one, and it's super tiny. So uh, let's just jump right into it. So this little guy right here, um, I got this little cage adapter on there so that way I can kind of mount it to specific things, but I'll get to that uh, later on. My first impression is that it's super tiny. I really thought it'd be a little bit bigger. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, it's super tiny. I almost feel like I'm going to snap it. This little pin port right here is just super hard to kind of pull this thing out. So, I mean, you won't lose it. That's for sure. Only has two buttons, the record button and the on and off button. And what that on and off button serves as multiple purposes. It's like kind of like a recenter thing too. So I was like, cool. We took it out for a couple of shoots so far. We've taken it out for a low light test. And then we've also taken it out for a small mini vlog test. Um, the vlog test went atrocious to be honest. But, um, and then during that vlog test, we kind of gave it to Chad to just BTS the whole time. And, uh, I think the BTS version was pretty good. Um, it was just able to follow us pretty smoothly and all that stuff. So, uh, really excited. The image quality of this was pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I still got to do a lot more testing on it. I don't feel comfortable telling you guys to go out and buy it right away because, you know, it's, it's amazing. But, um, you know, it looks sharp. So, for, as a BTS camera, I'm excited to kind of use this more often and just kind of see how it looks and kind of incorporate this with my creative struggle and you know if you guys don't know what the creative struggle is that's my uh vlog where i post you know on the struggles that an artist kind of goes through creating his art and that's going to be linked in down below and up top wherever um that's on a separate yash Musabji youtube channel be sure to check it out yeah uh, one thing i wanted to say was when you when you kind of connect your phone to it it is kind of weird you can't hold this or else you feel like the phone's gonna fall out and snap so like It'd be nice if you kind of had like a cage for it or something like that. But like you can't just hold the phone because who's left-handed? And if you have an iPhone, you're going to be pressing the on and off button and the volume button. And it just feels weird. Just feels weird, right? So like I wish this was on the right side, to be honest. It. I mean, I guess I could hold it upside down. But that's weird, no? <laughs> like, oh, but that's still the same problem as you'd be hitting the uh, button. Um, yeah, but then you could kind of, you could kind of offset it by, like, being a little bit more closer in. At least you're right-handed at that point. And it does kind of feel a little bit heavier. So what I've been kind of doing is holding it, like, like this. Um, it's, feels weird. I gotta get used to it, but at least it's kind of supporting the iPhone while kind of grabbing the Osmo so it doesn't, like, fall out and just kind of been vlogging. My arm feels weird. I feel like it's about to snap off. You could get a small little adapter, uh, like what I did, a cage, and just kind of put a tripod on it, like a, like the mini Gorilla Pods. But I kind of wanted this for like a small running gun use. So to be honest, I might just kind of ditch the phone and just kind of record just like this and just boom. You have a small screen on here, which um, I'm really not a big fan of because A, it's not 16 by 9. It's, one in it's like one inch by one inch, if that. Um, and you really can't see all this stuff like in frame like if you connect the phone you'll see a lot more of the whole aspect and the whole frame this is like kind of the gist of what you're going to be getting which i mean i guess it's cool but if i'm vlogging like i really want to know like if my whole face is in there or not another cool thing about this is got face tracking it's kind of like a hit or miss in low light it's completely gone but during daytime it's nice it's nice if you're like vlogging like by yourself but let's say like i'm vlogging and i want to show like what's behind me it, like I try to turn it and this thing just keeps turning to me unless I like uh, Whip pan to the background which might be very jarring and just not smooth So I'd kind of just do it without face tracking to be honest, but some of the features that you need You need the phone to kind of connect and kind of mess with a couple of features that I was really digging were these like tilt locks So this is kind of like locking the tilt. I mean Yeah it's kind of cool. But there's this other mode that I'm really hyped about that really kind of got me excited, which was the FPV mode, where it kind of like 
locks off the axes, but like still keeps it smooth. The cool thing is I can record straight to my phone. So all this B-roll, you'll kind of see. Another cool thing that I thought would be awesome is if we put this on like a boom pole, if we made it like an awesome crane slash jib, all we need was a like a 10 foot, 12 foot boom pole with a 15 foot cord. Make our now made an awesome video about that. That's kind of my inspiration. That's why we kind of got interested in getting this. Um, you can get some cool, nice in, uh, perspective shots and kind of put this camera really in places that you weren't able to put it in before. Um, not like that. Yeah, you can kind of get these cinematic uh, B-roll shots. So uh, I want to still try it out. I haven't really had much time to try it out, but we, we made our boomstick thing. Um, <laughs> boomstick, hit him with a boomstick. This is my boomstick. <laughs> I'm um, really excited to use this for more stuff and um, but yeah, but that's pretty much my first impressions um, If you guys like this video, please leave a like subscribe check it out um, If you guys have an Osmo mobile, please help my uh, dumb ass out <laughs> I could definitely use some tips on this really excited to use it more and let you guys know my review Which should be coming on probably like a month or two months, but yeah, so stay tuned Hopefully you don't miss it comment down below what you guys think comment down below what you guys don't think just comment down below. Last time you guys didn't comment, that shit heard it. Also, let us know if you guys want to see more first impression videos because I kind of like doing these. A lot easier than spending like five months trying to review something. <laughs> Other than that, have a good one. Peace.